Howdy, my name's Cowboy. I'm going to introduce you to a long-term bug out bag. Bug out bag is used for survival situations and survival situations will occur at some time. But this will be something that you will need for long term, not short term. Well, hopefully it's short term. You don't have to be crazy, a nut or a survival maniac in order to have a bug out bag. This thing weighs 40 pounds. You have to be in good shape in order to carry it. So you probably want to put it in your back of your pickup truck or on the back of your motorcycle or whatever in order to transport it. A bug out bag is very simple, very easy. You just have to have it. If you don't have it, you won't survive. Some of the items in your bug out bag for long term, again, is up to you what you think you will need. Gorilla tape. This stuff is very valuable. You'll need it in many, many situations. Some tape to mark your trail in case you have a family and they need to follow you in some situation or you need to come back. Mark trees with it. Uh, you can mark the direction you're going or the direction you came from. At least somebody will know where you're at and where you've been if you have an emergency and they're looking for you. Gloves. Your hands are tender. Some of them are, some of them are not. Mine are, so I need gloves. You get in a situation where you run out of food. Fishing tackle. Small box, got hooks, weights. It's got all the things you need in order to catch fish. These are screws and bits and knife blades and a survival knife. Always will be usable when you need it. If you're going to fish, you're going to need some line. You got to have that with you. This here is flint steel for making fires in case your battery, if, in case your batteries go out or your uh, matches run out or whatever. This stuff here, flint and steel, will always make a fire for you. This is one of the important things with long term. A shovel. Dig a hole to start your fire, whatever. Or to bury yourself when you die when you don't have a long-term bug out bag. A little saw. Cutting wood, tree limbs, whatever to make a shelter. One of these for all different types of screws. Always take some line with you. You never know what you're going to use this for. Many, many things. These things are very valuable when you're out in survival. You put them together, they tie things up. Whatever you need them for, you got them. Just some more tools you might need to run across. Candles. You got to have candles. They're lightweight. Take a whistle with you in case of an emergency. It'll bring people to you. Bags, plastic. Always have your compass with you. These are matches. Gotta have matches. You gotta have a list of the things that are in your bag. Make a list, put it in your bag so you'll know what's there. And check your bag just about every month or week if you desire. Sharpen your knife. Got to have food. If you don't have food, you're going to have to do a lot of fishing or a lot of hunting. A cap is something good for you. Keep your head warm. Feed your dog with it if your dog's with you or water him in it. Take a good bandana with you for your head. Keep your head warm. Mess kit. Got to have something to cook the food in. Put the water in it, pour this stuff in it, heat it up, and you're going to eat it. One thing you definitely need to take with you is a survival donut. If you don't have a survival donut, you won't survive. Always make sure you have plenty of powdered water. 
This is a ventilator. Put it on, keeps all of the different types of chemicals out of your face and into your body. That's a must have, depending upon the situation, of course. Always carry a good camouflaged coat with you or shirt. These are something that you will definitely need to cut your wood with, make shelter, whatever. You gotta have a hatchet. And again, you always need a knife. This is a good Marine Corps knife and it will help you in lots of different situations. You can even cut wood with it. Winter time, gotta have some warm gloves. Always take a couple of pair of socks with you because your feet's gonna wear out. You're gonna be moving quite a bit. Camouflaged pants. Insulation. In cold weather, whatever. This will keep you very warm. Always gotta have these. They're called underwear. Take a bandana. Bandana is used for a thousand different things and that's what it can be used for. This will keep the mosquitoes off of you and the bugs. You can also use it to put stuff in if you need to. This is a life straw. This life straw will filter water in a creek or a lake or wherever. You can just drink it right out of it. It filters it out and purifies it. It'll save your life. More gloves. Take light sticks with you for an emergency. If you need somebody to find you in the woods or wherever, an airplane or helicopter is coming over in an emergency, these things will bring them to you. Paper, pencils, knife, spoon, fork, extra pair of glasses if you wear them. More gloves, you'll wear them out. This is for potassium iodide tablets 130 milligram blocking radiation energy that's what these do gotta have your flashlight check your batteries every month make sure they're uh, they're working take plenty of lighters with you helps to start the fire one thing you'll definitely need with you this is basically an emergency kit in case you get cut very deeply all the things in here will save your life. If you don't have it, you're probably gonna die. But you gotta have one of these. It's a definite. All the things in here are for every kind of injury you could come up on. This will save your life. Just friggin' I don't know how the hell I got all this shit in there. 